hi welcome to another class with physics anchor and today we'll be solving more questions for those people that will be writing utme so we have two simple questions on the board and these two two simple questions are under electricity as a topic under physics so let's begin with question number one so in question number one three five ohm resistors connected in parallel have a potential difference of 60 volts applied across the combination the current in each resistor is dash so they just want us to find the current in each resistor now you need to train yourself on how to sketch diagram because that ability will help you to uh, understand the question properly so we can sketch this actually we can sketch this like this since the three of them are in a you know in parallel okay so it will be something like this okay let me make it so it's not compulsory that you sketch actually if you understand the, the question but if uh you know how to sketch it will actually help you to understand the question better so this is what the the, the question is actually telling us that we have five three ohms i mean that's three five ohms resistors so there are three three resistors three resistors but of five ohms rating okay so three five ohm resistors so five ohm resistors in three places connected in parallel and they have a potential difference of 60 volts of course the potential difference will be the same because it's a parallel arrangement okay in parallel connection of resistors the same potential difference but different current so the current that will flow through this place now will be divided into three okay some will flow through this some will flow through this some will flow through this but in this question it is unique in the sense that the rating of the resistors are the same so in other words they have they are they are opposing the flow of current with the same capacity they are offering the same opposition to the flow of this current so in other words the same current you know this current here will be divided into three equal parts you know one part will flow through here one part will flow through one part so the current here the current here the current here are going to be what the same current flowing through there so let's just find the current in one and that will be for all of them so we record that was v equals to i r our ohm's law so current equals to what v over r so if we want to find let's say the first current here let's call it i1 okay that will be uh v which is a 60 and the capacity of the uh resistor there is going to be five and that will be what 12 ampere see this 12 ampere okay this this one also will be 12 ampere this also will be 12 ampere because they are of the same rating so once we find one we have known the rest it means that the current here will also be 12 the current here will also be 12 but the sum of the current in this place definitely will be uh if you if you if you want to do it you will see that what that will give us 36 ampere if you really want to do it but they didn't ask us that because you are writing jam you need to actually save your time but if you really for the sake of this uh you know for this for this class we have gotten our answer which is 12 ampere so the all correct option is actually what c but for you to really see that yes i2 will also be 12 ampere i3 will also be what 12 ampere and the total will be what 36 ampere so for the sake of that let's let's just find the total current you see that the total current will be if it, if we want to find the total current our half total that's one over half total will be one over r1 plus one over r2 plus one over r3 let's just prove it so that will be one over r total equals to one over five okay plus one over five plus one over five and uh, the SCM will give us five that will be one plus one plus one and that will be three over five but because this one is reciprocal okay because that's reciprocal definitely we'll know that what our total will now be five over three so this is what our half total will be so if we want to find this i total we can say i total now will be v over r total so what is our v our v is 60 divided by 
our half total that is what 5 over 3 and that will give us what uh, 60 okay times 3 over 5 5 year 1 5 year 12 12 times 3 will give us 36 amperes so you can see total current that will flow through this place is 36 amperes so that is the current that gets here that 36 is the one that gets to this node here and because it's sensing the same opposition the same opposition the same resistance so it will divide into three equal parts 12 we go here 12 we go here 12 we go here making 36 all together so the current in each of the resistor is going to be 12 ampere i just want you to see so that you see that definitely you are we are in line you know with what we are solving but in your own exam just have to use you know even less than one minute to do this just to get your 12 amperes since you already understand all the analysis and then you pick the right option so that's for number one let's uh solve number two okay right so let's solve number two number two question is also a simple one in the diagram above e is an accumulator with negligible internal resistance if the emf is 9 volts they didn't give us in the diagram but they are now giving us that what the emf is actually what 9 volts in other words so let's put our 9 volts here now we can actually put that one there now then the total current is dash so they want us to know the total current and if we are to know the total current we have to know the total resistance okay so this and this they are in parallel they are now connected to this one in what in series so the total of this in parallel will be in series with this so we can say that what let's first find the parallel of this so r parallel will be 20 times 5 over 20 plus 5 and that will be 100 okay over 1 over 25 rather and that will give me 4 okay that will be 4 ohms so i've gotten my hard parallel so the connection of the resistor there will not be something like this so this one has become 4 ohms and i have another what 5 ohms here which is now in what in series to each other so r total will give me 5 plus 4 equals to 9 okay 9 ohms so if i've known that so i can bring my ohms law v equals to i r i now total equals to v over r total so they want us to find the total current so the voltage there potential difference is this emf they have given us which is what nine okay and my total resistance is also nine so nine divided by nine that will give me one ampere so let's go to the options so it's not a it's not b okay this is 1.0 which is one ampere so that is the answer i hope you understand what we have done in today's class so try to watch the video over and over again until you gain a very good understanding share out this video uh, with other students especially those who will be writing a jab so that they can benefit from this Click the like button, comment, subscribe, and hit the uh, bell so that anytime I drop a new video, you can always be informed. Thank you for staying through this video today, and I wish you all the very best in your examination. Bye for now.